is Sifu Alex. I'm going to show you some basic Kung Fu stances today. So the first one is horse stance. Uh, this will be used in the long pull form. To do this, we're going to open our stance, just like we do with our training stance for Wing Chun. One, two, then we're going to do this two more times. Three, four, and that should get you the right distance. Try and keep your feet forward if you can. Sink your weight. If your feet spread out, that's not a huge problem. It just depends on your ankle flexibility, something you can work towards. You want to make sure your body's upright and you're not sticking your behind out. And your hands come up here. So this is horse stance. The next stance that we use in the long pull form is the cat stance. So to do this, I'm going to start like I'm doing my fighting stance, feet together. I'm going to turn one foot out. The other foot comes forward. My toe is in line with my heel. My back leg is bent. My front leg is bent. And there's barely any weight on this foot. I should be able to pick this up. It's not like this where, where I have weight on this foot. I should be able to pick it up at any time. This is cat stance. Another common stance is the bow and arrow stance. So to do this, we're going to start from our horse stance. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to turn. I'm going to turn my front foot and my back foot. I want my back foot to be at a 45 degree. My front foot can be a little bit inward, so then my knee protects my groin if my knee is inward a little bit in line with my toe. If that bothers your knee or puts too much pressure on your knee, you can do it forward. Uh, the pieces with this that are important are your front shin is going straight down and is perpendicular to the floor. You don't want to be leaning over like that. That puts too much pressure on the knee. And our back leg is still a little bit bent. It's not 100% straight. And you can do this really from any position in terms of height. I can take my horse stance, turn my stance, get my bow and arrow stance. It can become wider depending on how stylized I want this to be. But the basic idea is the shin goes straight down, the back leg is almost straight, and my weight's more forward. Like I'm going to be pushing something. Uh, the upper body needs to stay upright. When we do this, we don't want to be leaning like we're reaching for something. The spine stays up and down, whatever technique we're doing. Another stance is the uh, back cross stance. So for this, Let's say I was in a horse stance, and then I'm going to leave this foot this direction, and then I'm going to cross this foot back and behind to do this. This one foot comes back and behind, and then I sink down. Again, you want to keep your head up and down. You can practice that going both ways. From one side, to the other side. Next stance is um, a backdrop stance or a reverse bow and arrow stance. Uh, it's called different things. But again, we start from our horse stance, and instead of going forward like a bow and arrow stance, I'm going to go backwards. So with this one, I can turn my foot backwards this way. This foot turns also, and I sink back. Now I can go very low with this also. So this is more of a reverse stance. I can drop it even lower to do um, another variation on that. And those are some of your most common Kung Fu stances. So a quick review. You can run through these and flow from each one to each one to practice your stances. So horse stance. Low stance, cat stance, reverse stance, or uh, cross stance, reverse stance, drop stance, cat stance, horse stance, low stance, cat stance, cross stance, cat stance, and one more. Uh, also, there's a crane stance or single leg stance. So bring our foot 
up, our toes point down. We want at least to be level with the ground here. All right, uh, but you can also try and bring your knee above hip level for this. Thank you.